people welcome back to my youtube it is your girl honey welcome back people welcome back and those of you who are new here welcome to my channel my name is honey and today people we are talking about the aquarius moon finally this has been long and overdue it's here it's done thank goodness anyway people please make sure you guys are checking my pinned comment in the comment section below here you guys are checking the link that are going to be posted up here and you guys are also checking out my website honeysastro.com to check out my consultations and also my downloadable documents please make sure you are checking things out but anyway let's just dive straight on into this video because i know you guys are probably anxious to hear what i've got to say let's talk about the background of an aquarius moon where you guys come from your mom your home environment and what makes you who you are when you think about the moon the moon is your emotional fulfillment foundation home security roots your mother and it's also in relation to how safe you feel where you feel safe aquarius isn't the most emotionally comfortable placement to have in the moon aquarius is more so about connections with people your networks your friends your social circles and also thinking ahead you know thinking about the future thinking about the injustice of our people you know it's always about changing the future and for the world to be a better place essentially so already what we've just spoke about we didn't hear much about them. When you think about the opposite sign like Leo, you'll hear me say things like, oh my God, Leos are very much this and very much that. They want this and they want that. Da, da, da. Everything is about their environment and what they want. But Aquarius, there's not really much about them. It's all about the communities of people. Here's why. Aquarius moon people usually come from an environment where they were raised by multiple people. Mum, aunties, cousins, the babysitter, grandparents, it took a community to raise this particular child. And the more people that you have around your child, the more detachment you have from mum, okay? But key word throughout this whole video is detachment. Even if your mum was around a lot, emotionally, she was not the most available person to you and that's a shame because your mum is is the first person you meet essentially when you come into the world she nurtures you she breastfeeds you she she gives you formula she feeds you she's she's there to support you you learn first from your mum she's the first person that you hear when you're growing in her stomach she's there she's supposed to keep you warm but the thing is with aquarius moons the environment that you come from you haven't been provided a very secure environment to feel comfortable it's like um being a child and you having a problem at school and you come home you're very upset about it your mum asks you what's the matter and you, and you tell her what's going on and she might give you a solution to fix it as opposed to oh my gosh is that how you feel or how do you feel about that as opposed to coming to sit close to you you know holding your hand like stroking your hair and you know rubbing your leg and just being there when you think about that sort of love language style which is physical touch a lot of aquarius moons lacked that close connection everything is okay so this is a solution to fix it so they're very much up here when it comes to how they handle their emotions and that stems from their mum the background the environment that they come from and it's mad because like as we know aquarius energy to represent rebellion these people can either come from a very traditional family where they might be rebelling in that family Family, and they might try and break a tradition or there may be no traditions whatsoever and they're trying to create some sort of change in their family structure so they're trying to bring the family together remember this is a community moon it's about others it wants to kind of bring people and connect people together it wants to be the person why you've not spoken or you've not spoken for the last 10 years i want to bring you guys together again again we're not thinking about what the needs of Aquarius is, we're thinking about everybody else. Whenever I think about um, Aquarius, right, I think about the need for independence. Independence, being strong and firm on your own. There's no need to have other people around. And that can mean in relation to how you process your emotions. So when you are emotionally triggered, I've not got to rely on you, you and you to be there. I can do it on my own. And especially if there is Aries in the chart, because Aries is also independence. I can do it big, bad and bold, by myself having the aquarius having the aries in someone's chart this is someone who is notorious for feeling so independent that it's easy for them to push people away but that all starts again with family there's been a few aquarius moons that i have read for and also i know 
I'm very close with an Aquarius moon. And when I talk to them about their background, you know, what happened in childhood, there is a lot of memory loss. And it's really sad because your childhood is there to bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of peace. Like when I think back to my childhood, I think about the days where I can just run outside and play, knock on doors and run away. All of the laughing I did in my childhood, like I haven't forgotten because my childhood was great. Loss of memory can be very common for people who have gone through trauma, who have PTSD anyway. But I've noticed Aquarius moons tend to forget a lot of that. Your childhood is literally Gemini energy. It's Leo energy and Leo opposes Aquarius, which also makes lot of sense in reference to forgetting what happened in my childhood what things I went through in my childhood I can't remember because Aquarius doesn't identify with the inner child of Leah Aquarius doesn't understand that so when it comes to looking back in your childhood sometimes you can get that feeling of damn I didn't do much of what I should have done as a child and also as well throughout your childhood you may have known that you were very very different a lot of Aquarius moons in their childhood don't feel like they are who they are I've had clients who who identify different genders now as opposed to what they were born as or even in reference to their sexual identity their orientation they will know their orientation from a young age you know especially if this this like a lesbian or a gay child they will know from very very small when you think about like a girl child right and their parents always put like ribbons and bows in their hair and big pink dresses that aquarius child is like why are they dressing me like this and what you'll see is as they get older that girl child will completely get rid of the bows ain't wearing no dresses they will literally become the complete opposite as opposed to what their parents kind of made them dress like and that's what i'm saying the aquarius moon can have traditions imposed on them and they are like well fuck these traditions i'm gonna do what i want and you'll see them over time how they change and they are literally rebelling against what their family expectations were of them growing dread cutting their hair off getting tattoos or piercings these are things that that give them that individual expression but that's coming from them not wanting to conform to their home that the expectations of their family as well in reference to their personality type you know what kind of people they grow to be is yes they are weird they are unusual society deems them as being very oh you're a bit different aren't you but the thing is they love their weirdness they're very quirky individual people they don't care about fitting into society you know like leos might feel a little bit more like i want to be a part of the gang you know i want to be included and you know aquarius is like i am the gang I, I brought you guys together do you know what i mean like it doesn't stand for people because of its insecurities it stands for people because it cares about bringing people together and making a change and thing is with aquarius moons as well like they are all about other people in reference to the injustice they care about humanitarian rights and like i was saying before look to see where aquarius sits in your chart what house aquarius sits and you'll notice that's an area where you're going to want to create some sort of like social reform and they will usually have this um reason to be very passionate aquarius moons aren't afraid to fight especially if they're fighting for the collective for a particular cause for a reason the environment that these people want to work in is an environment where they have the freedom to do a job how they want to do it like you can say look i'd like you to do it a b c and d this way as as a manager but aquarius can learn that but they are so advanced that they'll probably learn another way to make their job easier a lot of it is also kind of from i don't like being told what to do even though you've gone into a job people aquarius moons go into a job and they have this one thing to do if their manager is telling them this is how you do it already they're thinking okay but how can i do it my way so they are rebelling even though they don't have to rebel in that situation but they are natural rebellious people that they will rebel in, in any situation. If your manager says, hey, your lunch break is at 12 p.m., come back at one, they might come back at 102 or 101, or they might leave a bit later, like maybe 10 past 12 and come back at 10 past one, just because they want that space to have a little bit of freedom 
because they desire liberation, they desire a level of freedom where they're not feeling as though they're being told what to do. So they're still kind of adhering to rules, but they will bend a rule wherever and whenever they can. What's really good about being an Aquarius moon is that these people are very true to themselves. It's not a self-centered thing, it's that they don't know who else to be. They don't let society kind of govern like oh my god the perfect example my mum Aquarius son yeah but it's mad because I was having this conversation with her just the other day and she called me up she's like oh my god honey I'm so sick to death of shopping in these stores shopping online that they have the same shoe styles I hate these loafers what's with these loafers everywhere and I'm like mum it's it's a trending style you know like fashion you know, they have like catwalks, fashion shows, and then all of the shops copy what's happening. It's just about trends, mum. Well, you know that I don't do trends. I'm an Aquarius, I don't do trends. And I was like, oh my God. Like my Capricorn moon was just tired of the BS, yeah. But this is the thing, like Aquarius, Aquarius moons are notorious for not wanting to go with what, again, society wants them to do. But they're also not judgmental at all. I can tell my mum anything, yeah? I can tell my Aquarius moon, my Aquarius friends, anything. And they provide a level of safety for everybody to come to them because they don't judge people. They don't make people feel uncomfortable because they are all, they're always up here. So they're never showing, oh my God, like, oh my God, you threw that, oh my God, ew, oh my God. They're not like, oh my God, ew. They're not doing that. They they might laugh at you a little bit, you know, and kiki key key or whatever, but they, they're not judging. And that's why you see they, they're very good at respecting boundaries for people. But Aquarius moons have to understand that I know that you guys are very laid back. You don't judge, you're about the, community but not everybody is the same way you are because people are different you're all ready to fight for people to be more laid back or more relaxed or more like you because you always have something to stand for or to fight for it's like it places its emotions in front of itself where it can see it we're not seeing you process your emotions it likes to see its emotions it's not like you guys don't feel you feel but it's placed in a box in front of you when it comes to how aquarius moons deal with their emotions yeah it's not easy because remember this is a very independent moon it's all about i'm an individual first and the problem with that is when you are emotionally triggered it's not that you guys internalize your emotions and you keep it within it's more about okay i need to analyze and really think of a solution about this emotion that i have almost like it's an individual from its emotions its emotions is what it can see it can feel it can touch it can smell it can understand that it has a feeling, right? But it's different from its feelings. And this is the whole understanding of what Aquarius represents, detachment from my emotions or detachment in general, and also that sense of individualism. My emotions are there and I'm here and I'm here to find a solution surrounding that. People haven't got to identify with that because one thing I've noticed is a lot of Aquarians are saying, well, no, I, I'm very sensitive and I feel my emotions. Okay, you've got to look at the aspects to your moon. You've got to look at to see where Neptune is. Maybe you've got Neptune conjunction moon. Maybe you've got a 12th house moon. Aquarius moons can be a challenge to date. There's just a need to be independent. And when you're dating someone, it's not easy to deal with. Aquarius moons are notorious for knowing everybody and you wonder damn how do you know everyone but they know everyone because they have great connections in reference to talking about things i know a friend who can do this for me or i've got a friend who can do that and do this and do that let me connect you guys together it's great at connecting people because it knows everybody but it, it struggles with having a very deep emotional connection with other people and also again we're seeing the emotional detachment because it yearns to have that close intimate connection with people and what can make Aquarius moons feel very sad is that why can't I get close or why don't I let people in like I'd like to? I yearn for a relationship. Oh my God, especially if Leo is involved. It yearns for romance, it yearns for relationships. To have close relationships with people, you've got to let people in. You've got to be vulnerable. It's like dating somebody and they're asking you, what's happened, what's the matter? And whilst they're asking you, they're, they're holding your hand, they're stroking you and you're thinking, ew, this is a bit Bit too cringy for me this is a bit close for me i feel uncomfortable that's a you problem aquarius moons 
you know you have to kind of get over that hurdle of allowing intimacy in other forms and not just sex because a lot of aquarius moons especially the lesbians especially the ladies you guys confuse intimacy with sex and it's very easy for you to meet somebody and you like them so much and you know you're invested in having sex with them to become to get closer to them but in reality you need to develop intimacy in conversations in physical touch you know just being next to someone and having that intimate feeling if you've got water placements if you've got neptune in aspect to your moon then you might feel like well you know what yeah you know i i am more gentle i'm more emotional i feel a lot more and that's going to really help with your aquarius moon to let down those barriers in my leo moon video i mentioned a lot about you know leo people care about their partner and how they're being represented but so do aquarians aquarians like i said they don't judge you you might come from a very difficult background you know you've gone through a lot of stuff they're not judging you at all they are very sympathizing of the things that you go through but you'll notice that aquarius moons carry themselves in a particular way it's not like a poise way but they are always aware of where the rough people are you know the ghetto i'm joking but you know what i mean they're very aware of their surroundings and to date them if you're somebody who is in and out of the different surroundings or you are behaving a certain type of way and they see that and they you know they're like okay that's cool you can be that way and i can be cool with you but i'm not going to date you because i know what i like and what i'm what kind of person i am and like i said they don't judge these people but they are very collected in who they are and how they want to be represented and it's never about because they care about how the public see them like leo leo cares about that aquarius is more about this is about me <laughs> this is what i want it's not about i don't care about the public and what they think because i'm different anyway but it's about me and for you guys who are dating aquarius moon you need to understand how they process their emotions it's like if aquarius moon goes through a breakup and you're there to be their friend to emotionally support them the relationship has ended they were with their partner for like three years or whatever and now it's ended oh my god like this is a big a, a big thing for them now they might not call you straight away they might not even call you at all even about it but you need to kind of talk to them about you know how are you feeling about it you know i'm going to come over and see you. i'm going to be there i'm going to come and see you. i'm going to spend time with quality time another love language style that these people need to understand that it's okay to embrace aquarius moon is also aquarius energy period is typical for ghosting like i hear it all the time oh i met this aquarius guy but he's not very good at communicating with me he might text me but won't text me later or call me when he's supposed to call me yeah they're inconsistent and my advice to everyone who dates aquarius is to become a friend to them first best thing to do because it's less expectation on the aquarius and like i said aquarius rebel against absolutely everything so even when it comes to how to date they don't want to follow the rules on how to date so they want to leave you guessing they might not call or text back but they also when they're ready to cut you off oh my gosh again especially if there's aries or capricorn in that person's chart they will either ghost you or they won't respond or they might just block and delete and just keep it moving aquarius moon even aquarius in the fourth house like you and uranus in there as well cutting people off can also be in relation to family members and literally just going cold turkey like they don't expect it it may not even take a blowout um for you to disappear from family it could literally just happen tomorrow and your family don't expect it but there's just like this i don't give a fuck i will cut off whoever i want these people are very good at talking and communicating they're very very intelligent so they are always thinking about the future if they don't see you in their future and they decide to ghost you what i'm saying is do not reach out to them do not try and find them on social media you know when you hear aquarius oh my god they're so unbothered they just don't care like of course they care but they will choose where they want to put their energy and if they don't want to put the energy into you they don't have to say anything to you because they don't feel like they have to you're not even worth that breath that is how disrespectful they are no i'm joking but that's just what they're like they're just, they don't like wasting their breath basically when you first meet them they're not very friendly i'm not gonna lie um they're not the most sociable when you first meet them 
So someone that I know, right, who's an Aquarius moon, met a family friend or family member of mine, yeah? The way that they greeted them was very cold. Like, oh my God, like you ain't a Capricorn moon, baby, relax. They were very like stern in how they said hello. And I said to them, look, like, this is a family member, like friend or whatever, like just be nice. It's okay to be friendly. Like I had to remind them of where that you, you're in my house, okay? So just be, just be nice to people when you first meet them. And Aquarius moons, like you'll see in group dynamics, yeah? They will hop from over here to over there. They are very good in group dynamics. When they meet someone on a one-to-one -one basis, that, that hello, it's not very warm and a lot of that is they're sussing you out it's not like a scorpio thing where you know they're just checking can i trust this person or even a cancer not very friendly initially the aquarius doesn't know you yet it hasn't interacted with you so aquarius is going to be cold initially but they warm up very quickly and obviously when you're dating them they become a lot more warm a lot more comfortable with you and you will literally have a a best friend like you know when you hear relations about oh he's my best friend he's my bestie even though they are married or they're together they are besties they are really good friends because they established that foundation first and you would have witnessed the aquarius moon go from ice cold to really warm over time they don't like being suffocated they don't like that feeling it it puts them off aquarius moons like to maintain a sense of individualism if they feel that you are suffocating them or you're very close in their space or, or impacting on their space, they're going to create a distance. If you're someone who desires intensity and intimacy, yeah, it's not it's not easy to date an Aquarius moon. And also think about like this year, Aquarius people, Aquarius, Aquarius people do not judge. I mean, obviously psychology says to us, everyone judges is human nature. But when it comes to Aquarians, they're not sat there bitching about you, talking shit. Like it's, it's not like that. If they feel like it's not gonna work out, it ain't really working for me. I've thought about it and it doesn't require my energy. It doesn't require my energy. I'll just keep it moving. And they want you to just accept it that it's not what, what you thought it was and to keep it moving. They can accept you for who you are and they don't apply pressure for you to change. They don't apply that pressure for you to change into a different person or to be someone else to fit to them, to date them. They don't want you to change them for who they are because they know that they just want to be accepted and to just be appreciated for their individualism. And this is the thing, Aquarius people, they have emotions, of course, and they care about things. But how it comes across is like, they don't give a shit. But what it is is, they don't give things energy that they don't really want to feel on. Because remember, Aquarius is about detaching from my emotions right in the moon. And what I want to say as well, what's important for Aquarius moons is that you are emotionally fulfilled people. You need to do something that is different, that's quirky, and especially in reference to your individual expression. If you know that you are different, you need to live in that. Because that also kind of teaches other people that you need to embrace those differences. Utilize social media to your advantage. Utilize technology to your advantage. I wanna mention as well, because I do have followers who might say something like, yeah, but my, my daughter or my son, he's got this moon, am I gonna be a bad mum? And I'm like, oh my God, no, that's not what I mean. Like when it comes to astrology, we all have free will. I've got an eighth house moon, I've got a Capricorn moon, I've got Uranus and Neptune on my moon. I've got Chiron opposing my moon. You'd think I'd have a shit relationship with my mum, but I don't. You know, it didn't always be that way, but trust me, I've, I've got a great relationship with her. It's almost about you understanding a lot more about astrology and knowing that you have free will. So if your child has an Aquarius moon, you need to be present, not just about solutions, but also encourage physical touch between you and your child. Give them hugs, you know, kiss them on the cheek a lot more. Just be emotionally present. And you'll notice that yes, they might have a lot of qualities of an Aquarius moon. Maybe they love to be around people, but they understand the importance of physical touch for other people. And that way they can still provide that emotion to fulfill others. A lot of Aquarius moons do struggle not just to receive it, but to also give it. And I want to also point out as well that there will probably be people who say things like, I don't identify with your video, honey. 
you know it, it's 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 not accurate for me fair enough because i can't do everybody but you've got to kind of bear in mind that your individual chart is your chart this is about the majority of aquarius moons aquarius again is about rebelling i'm i'm going to rebel right here right now in this video like towards this video so even with what i'm saying a lot of aquarius moons will say i don't identify with that sorry because you're rebelling because that's what you do you will find something to disagree on or to rebel against because that's literally part of your identity there is just a strong need to be an individual that you don't want to be put into a category or you don't want to be told about yourself because how can someone else tell you about you right you know yourself more than anybody but this is typical like aquarius moons will do this so you guys dating them don't suffocate them don't have these expectations of what you desire from them like all they want is for you to accept them for their quirkiness their weirdness their individualistic approach to everything and to allow them to be themselves that's it they are very simple in reference to what it is that they want how it's kind of like explain to people it can be complex you know it's very complex to understand because they're so likable friendly you know and that's what makes it hard for people to grasp about aquarians so people that is my video for aquarius moon um i think i've got maybe aries and cancer to do next i think that's it anyway people i will see you soon all right bye